Okay, um, there's, there's actually four or five different ways of actually getting out or into the critical distance line or safe zone. So we now it's going to be escaping and we're going to call it safe zones, okay? All right, here's one I'm just going to explain to you, okay? We already know that the critical distance line is here with the fist and here with the elbow. Yeah, with the knee, it's going to be the same thing, you see, and the leg is going to be out. We're not going to worry about the leg. We're just going to talk about the upper body at this stage right now, okay, so that you, you have it good. So you understand that. Now, what it is is that we're going to use four things so that you understand, all right? One of the um, easiest ways for beginners is actually get into a safe zone, which is actually removing yourself from the point of Contact. This is the critical, uh, critical uh, uh, distance line. Remember when the strike is coming out and it's starting off when it's in a cock position, he's starting off from the point of zero. But by the time the momentum starts going, it, it's putting up 25 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour, 75 miles an hour, 100 miles an hour, then it just goes down to 70 miles per hour, 50 miles an hour, zero. You can see like this, if, it, if it's coming in. This has happened the same way when a person has a stick or a knife. But in this case over here, we're just using the, the punch in, in this way because you know, you can see like this, he, he's throwing it, but right at this point, it's gonna be the fastest part and you don't wanna be in that, that critical part, which is a hundred, let's say, 100 miles an hour. I'm just using this here just to give you a, a pictorial vision into your head. So right here, you know, is actually, he's already gained all the speed. And if you get hit anywhere between over here within that 100 mile an hour zone, you know, you're, you're out. And then you're gonna be going down. So what we wanna do is that we know it's here. The thing is that when the zone comes inside, you wanna stay at least six inches to 12 inches away. So when he begins to move and punch, I am out. Now you gotta realize that sometimes you may have to take an extra step back because, move back a little bit more, good. He might be stepping forward as he moves and in both, I have to be able to go. Now, you see what I'm talking about, moving back, okay? So it means I am not in that position, I am actually moving back. The other is the same thing, when he comes inside, I'll just drop over into and being into this position. No matter what it is, it's just that letting the energy go by right out. Now, how? That one is actually, you're not getting hurt, you're just moving away. The other one is gonna be, if you're going to try to intercept the movement and it's going to be power against power, here comes a power, and you're going into this position right over here, then you know that both hands are going to have to be up over here. I used to both hands up over here because for me, I can, I can begin to move and go into my, my, my movement. What I'm going to break, you see, elbow shot inside. I can do all of this from this close position and the knees begin to work. You see my knees that begin to work. Uh, this, it doesn't matter when I'm close over here because I leave my hand closed open because in the event that he tries to throw a punch from the other hand, I completely nullify that and again I bend and I bring it to work and up, down. All right, these are all movements that you guys are gonna learn afterwards. It's all what we call the free flow, okay? Now you notice that on this one here, it was stopping right away. That means I'm going into it, you know? These kind of movements is really going to take power against power. And that means you're going to, you're, you're going to get hurt. The other thing too, he can do to come in really slow. Is I already went up into it, into this position. As you can see that I am in this position right over here. So I'm hitting up into this position. I am so close enough so that these movements, these movements, these movements begin to work. You see, everything begin. Pitch comes inside over here. Knuckles inside, twerks it. And you notice that, turn. This way here, I am already putting the pressure point into the neck. You can feel that, you see what I mean? And then actually from the back of the neck right over here, hit this way, boom, and that will just cut off everything over there. That comes later. But you can see that what I'm doing now, this is, this is what you call a surprise type of aggression, okay? Because I don't know, I mean, if the guy's already dancing around, you know, the fight has already started, that's a totally different story. I mean, your type of defense is going to be different. But this is going to be like he's trying to do a Sunday maker. He's just trying to give you a, a cold cock type of technique. Okay, so we have talked about moving away. We have talked about continuing to swing, dissipating the energy, and then coming back in. 
That's number two. Okay? We have talked about coming in, stopping it right over here. Or also, what you call the stop hit would be bam, inside at the same time and all of this. Okay? So you notice I did that in here. Okay? So all of this and these techniques are all gonna work. I'm just giving you an example of what's gonna be learning because no matter what you do, come on this right over here, you see what I mean? You can never tell what's gonna happen with the other hand. I gotta be able to force him so that he, he, he doesn't throw it that way, or if he begins to start throwing, this begins to lift up into that position here by actually grabbing right over here and doing this and using this as a leverage or fulcrum. And as I do the fulcrum at the same time, inside, that allows my knees to do my buck dancing as I begin to move on it. Okay, so just giving you an idea that I'm totally working with one hand. It doesn't mean that this hand is, you know, not capable of hitting me or targeting me at any time. Because at any time he can grab, he can punch anything into that position, and I have to be ready to do this in here. Inside, you see, without even pulling back. Now you notice, even from this position, I'm doing, doing that. Now, if in the event that I am on this side, right here, and I, I, I have overshoot, then even in this position here, this one right here will begin to do this. You see? Hitting across the neck, bam, in here. That across, and leads me into, into a position where I'm, I'm moving in on, excuse me, okay? But I'm giving you an idea that no movement that you have is wasted. Whether I'm grabbing, pinching, biting, spitting in his face, stomping and everything, that's going to happen. Now you say, oh man, is this supposed to be simple, effective and practical? It's going to get that way. You have to learn the scale, like music. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, 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 scales, you learn it all. But when you learn the scales, anything in between, you can do, you can make music. But if you only learn do 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 re 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 mi 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 nah, then you have one do re mi do re mi. You know you got to be able to go from one to active, and anything in between is going to be easy. This is what stretching yourself out, and this is what's going to happen. It says you're going to learn all of this. Now all of the things that I've done so far is just going to be hitting techniques. There are also going to be other things that that's going to be working into defense against grappling and so forth. We will contact and get into that on the next step.